What's going on guys? So today I'm doing a deck profile of Rockstun. Uh, the deck that kind of took off around Return of the Duelist because of this new card, Block Golem. I'm pretty sure that's what it came in, Return of the Duelist. But, um, Rockstun is using Koike, Koike Mirrors? Koike Mirrors? I always pronounce that name. Um, it's mostly around Guardian, but you play the other ones too. And, uh, yeah, let's get on with the deck profile so you get an understanding if you already don't know how the deck works. And this is a full-fledged deck already that I've been playing matches with, as you can see my side deck. So we can go over side deck too, just for shits and giggles. Uh, three Koike Mir I'm just gonna say Miro. Miru Guardian, uh, you can tribute him, negate the activation of effect monster and destroy it. Negate the activation of a spell and destroy it. Uh, Miru Wall, and then Miru Sandman, just negate the activation of a trap and destroy it, but that doesn't usually help, because usually a trap is destroying your monster anyway, so I'm only playing him too, mostly because he's another rock. Uh, one Grand Wall, because he, uh, tack into some monster, and you can bring it back to the hand, so he's a good little tech rock monster. Uh, Gigantus, uh, to d help with your rank 4s, because even though this isn't, uh, this is a stun deck, you do make some rank 4s with Black Golem. Black Golem's kind of slow, but that's why you have the lances, but anyways. Uh, you banish one Dark Earth Monster, and you can special summon this card from the field. And when this card is destroyed by Battle into the Graveyard, destroy all spell and crap trap cards on the field. So, yeah, pretty good card. Uh, three Fossil Dino. He's a level 4 Rock Monster, and either player can special summon monsters. And when this card's flipped face up, destroy all special summon monsters. So that can really help against your opponent, <coughs> especially in the current format. Okay, Block Golem. If all monsters in your graveyard are Earth, you can tribute this card to target two level four lower uh, rock type monsters in your graveyard, except Block Golem. Special some of those targets, but their effects that activate on the field cannot activate that turn. So, really, it kind of does suck because it is all, all your monsters in your graveyard have to be Earth. So, that really limits you. Usually what I do is, the uh, first time I make one of those, I usually go into Kachi Kochi or I go into him um, for my first Block Golem play. And then my second play, I'll go into whatever XYZ I want. But you can go into Cowboy with him still. So it's not that bad. But I, I never really have the need for Cowboy. I usually have, have him because you can attach one with zero on all mo Earth monsters. Go lose 500. It makes him pretty good in the deck. But three block golems aren't that good. But I, didn't, I wasn't really feeling it with guy, three Gaia plates. And I also wasn't feeling it with a, um, a Grand Soil. So if you run into, you could play like a Redox or something. But eh. I don't really feel that either because Redox is a drag um, dragon. I mean, not Redox. Doesn't matter. There's no rank 7s you can make with it. That's what I was trying to get at. But anyways, three block golems. You can check out the one block golem for something else. Whatever you feel. Maybe a mega rock dragon. Uh, just because you can banish all your earth monsters and make them a huge beater. I mean rock monsters. So you can maybe tech one of those if you want. Uh, two Gaia plates. Uh, good card. Just mentioned on this card by removing from play any two rock monsters in your graveyard. During the standby phase, remove from play one mox monster from your graveyard or send this card to the graveyard. Have the attack and defense of any monster bows this card. So even though it's a 2800 beater, uh, any monster attacks him, it's going to be a lot less. Um, one Dark Hole, one One Day Apiece, three Duality, three MST, two Lances, one Book of Moon, one Torrential, three, uh, two Mirror Force, I mean, one Solemn, Compulse, Bottomless, Void Trap Hole, one Dimensional Prison, and three Fiendish Chains. Um, you can take out the other Void Trap Hole for dimension, a second Dimensional Prison if you really, if, if you don't like uh, Void Trap Hole. I dig it. Uh, extra Deck, Kamara Tech, Fortress Dragon, uh, Gem Knight Pearl, uh, Utopia, Pappy, Fairy King, Alperach, Apoditch, whatever, Black Corn, Kachi Coach Dragon, Number 101, Silent Honor Knight, Exiton Knight, Diamond Dire Wolf, uh, Mace Stroke, Dweller, Lava Chain, Cowboy, and Digesto Emerald. My side deck is two Cyber Dragons for Machines, uh, Soul Drain, anything in the graveyard, two Mind Drains, uh, Mermails, and I forget what, but Mind Drain was working. I, I, For the life of me, I cannot think of it right now, but... You know that Ryan Drain's good. Uh, two Overworks for Fire Fist, uh, two Lane Prisoning Mirrors, two Shadow Imprisoning Mirrors, two DNA Surgery, and two Dust Tornadoes. DNA Surgery fucks shit up. I play the Dust Tornadoes because there's just some decks have some extra back row. I take out the Void Trap Hole on the D Prison and just put it into the two Dusts. Um, yeah, it doesn't protect me as well, but, you know, whatever. And, yeah, that's the deck, guys. A uh, really good anti-meta deck. Uh, it really is... It, what I've noticed when I play it is games go slow. Like, really slow. But it is a very good deck, and you really do hold your own, surprisingly. I'm always surprised by that. But, yeah, guys, if you like this deck, check out my channel for more deck profiles. Like this video if you deem it acceptable. Uh, subscribe for more content and videos. I try to post one every day. And, yeah, guys, I'll see you later. Thank you for watching.